Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another developer update. Last year, for the first time, our first event ever, we ran the Summer Games, and we learned so much from running that event. You guys gave us tons of feedback. As you saw throughout the year, we iterated and changed our future events based on that initial run with Summer Games. Now, I've been paying attention to a lot of social media, and I've been hearing the buzz, everybody asking about when is Summer Games coming back. Well, now is the time Summer Games is coming back very soon, and we wanted to set you up with some pertinent information so you knew what was gonna be the same and what was gonna be different about Summer Games this year. So, first of all, a question on a lot of people's minds is, are the skins that were available in Summer Games 2016 going to be available again this year? And the answer is absolutely yes. We know you want a chance to get that American McCree skin or the Nihon Genji. You will absolutely be able to get those skins again. Now, the other thing, if you remember, and not all of you were around back for Summer Games 2016, but back then, those skins were not available for unlock via the credit system. And that was something that we changed based on your feedback. Well, this is gonna be the first year that Summer Games is going to run where you'll be able to unlock the old skins for credits, as, long, as well as the new skins that are coming too. So that is also awesome. Now, as I mentioned, there's new skins and new content coming as well. And I don't wanna spoil it all, but I'll give some hints. Roadhog, I'm sorry, Roadhog is not getting anything. So that was just me being silly. Junkrat is gonna get an awesome legendary skin. And I, th I think you guys are gonna love it. It's very sports themed. And our favorite Australian is gonna get a great skin. Mercy, and that's why I'm wearing this shirt today. Mercy is getting one of my favorite skins of all time, and I'm so excited for you guys to check it out. And we have some other cool things happening as well. I think Widowmaker and McCree fans are gonna be really blown away with what we're gonna, going to deliver. And there's some silly stuff too, and I'll just, I'll just leave that for you guys, and, and you'll know what I'm talking about in a little bit. But the new skins will be available for credit unlocks just like every event. And as I mentioned, those old skins are available too, but we're gonna do something different for the old skins. We're going to discount the prices to normal loot box prices for the credit cost of those skins. So for example, if you want Tracer in her runner skin that she had in Summer Games 2016, which was a legendary, it will only cost you 1,000 credits versus the 3,000 credits that an event legendary normally costs. We think that bringing the old items back is absolutely key for our players who weren't able to get them the first time around. And we also want to discount them somewhat so more of you can get more of those items you want and love while still reserving some specialness for the brand new stuff. So not everybody's running around in all the coolest, most brand new stuff. We also want to remind you that we've made significant loot box changes, which you guys have already seen a little bit of in our normal loot box in regards to duplicates. So we drastically reduced the rate at which you're going to get duplicates, and we've never before felt this in one of our event loot boxes before. So Summer Games will be the first time that you're experiencing the much reduced duplicate rate in the loot boxes. So we think that'll be awesome. Now. A lot of you are thinking, enough with the rambling about skins and loot boxes. All we really care about when it comes to Summer Games is Lucio Ball. Is it coming back? And the answer is yes. Lucio Ball, of course, is coming back. Not only that, but we have our beautiful Rio Stadium that we built for 2016, and we're proud to introduce Sydney, Australia as a new stadium for Lucio Ball to take place in. Now, we've also made some tweaks to Lucio Ball based on feedback from the first time around. There's, there's a couple things that have changed. One, you can no longer stand in, in the enemy goal and boop the enemy goalie out of the way. We've removed the ability to boop your enemies uh, because a lot of people were finding that frustrating. And we also changed Lucio's ultimate in Lucio Ball. Uh, it used to pull the ball towards you very dramatically, and there were sort of some cheesy strategies about booping the goalie, stand in the goal, pull the ball in. We, we made that go away. So now when you use Lucio's ultimate, you move much faster, you can use his alternate ability to boop the ball 
much more quickly, and he jumps a lot higher. So he's sort of like Super Lucio when he uses that ultimate. We think you guys will really enjoy it. We think the change is really healthy to Lucio Ball, and that'll be great. Now, the thing that is probably most exciting about Lucio Ball coming back is we've really upped the stakes this time. Not only can you just play Lucio Ball like you enjoyed it last year in Summer Games, but we've also added a new card to the arcade that's called Copa Lucio Ball. And what this means is competitive Lucio Ball. That's right, for three weeks during the Summer Games, we're gonna be running a competitive Lucio Ball system. Not only that, if you place, if you play your 10 games competitively in Lucio Ball, you will get a special spray. If you make it into the top 500 of Lucio Ball players in your region, you will get an additional special spray. So we can't wait to see how you guys do, to see what your skill ratings are, to see you know how great of a Lucio Ball player are you versus a normal Overwatch player. We think this three-week season concept could be a lot of fun outside of Lucio Ball even. So we wanna see how you guys respond to it. We wanna see how you guys play with it and, and what you think about that. So that's an overview of Summer Games. We're gonna be releasing even more information leading up to the event. We think you guys will have a ton of fun. As always, we're listening to you for feedback. And if we need to make changes, we will. We hope you guys enjoyed Lucio Ball, Summer Games, and all the new loot box content, and have a blast playing. Thanks.